karma will take care of itself. Continue to be loving. Continue to be supportive. But also learn to be discerning on who is deserving of your love and support. Are they simply empire, uh, energy vampires? Are they always taking and never You're giving? Rising, beloved humans, welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany, and welcome to your Friday Tri Daily Tarot for March 29th. Thank you so much for being here. Please remember, I read intuitively, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. We're going to go ahead and get started. I've already blessed my decks of cards. We're going to find out what spirit needs you to know for your Friday heading into the weekend. I hope all is well with you. If you did not see Wednesday's Tri Daily Tarot, I will link it in the cards above as well as in the description. You can also check out the Tri Daily playlist to find any of the Tri Dailies that you did not catch. And it's no problem that you didn't catch it on the day that it came out. The messages and insights shared in my videos, they're not constrained by time. They offer guidance and advice that can be applicable whenever someone watches them. You know, um, the themes and energies addressed in the readings are universal and it can resonate with viewers regardless of what when they were recorded, right? They're timeless and relevant for you at the time you're watching, beloved human. Thank you for joining. Spirit, what do the beloved humans need to know for Friday, March 29th, headed into their weekend? Do tell. We're going to use Oracle and Tarot to get clarification. Mm -hmm. We'll take the one that fell. Thank you, Spirit. Healing the heart, power of self-love. Healing the heart, power of self-love. Beautiful. Hmm. Mm -hmm. More self-love, beloved human. You give to so many others and you deplete yourself. Almost to the point of um, just feeling super, super tired, super uh, used up. And you have to take time to replenish yourself, fill your cup so that you are able to continue to do the things you love to do for other people, beloved, okay? You cannot just continue to give and give and give. My grandmother used to say when I was growing up, you can't get blood from a rock, right? <laughs> that rock is dry. You do not want your well to run dry. You do not want the well of your heart to run dry. So you have to continuously replenish that using the power of self-love. When you love self, you are able to freely love others, right? And, and there's self-care that has to go into that as well. Um, so we can, we'll get some more clarification. But I feel like you may be feeling beloved, beloved human. I do things for so many. Who's doing anything for me? You're almost feeling like no one is checking on you. The way you do others, the way you help others, the way you support others, I'm feeling like you're feel you're not feeling the love, right? You're not receiving the love and support that you put out there. So you're feeling a little heartbroken about it. Like who's checking on me? Who's helping me? I do so much for others. Who can I depend on? Spirit is telling you, love yourself. Depend on yourself. Support yourself. Don't worry about what others do for you because you do so much for yourself. They can never outdo you in what you do for yourself. That's what I'm feeling for you, beloved human. All right, let's get some um, clarification from the tarot. Three of cups. Seven of cups. Mm-hmm. Queen of Swords. 
Interesting. <laughs> you want to be able to create meaningful bonds, right? You want to create meaningful relationships, right? Is what I'm getting with this, especially with this three of cups. And yet you are you are very independent, beloved human. You are a very independent person. And spirit is telling you, rely on your independence, support yourself, love yourself first. Because we can't control how others respond to us. We cannot tell them, oh, you're going to have to do what I do for you because that's not how we are or who we are. We all do things differently. But what Spirit is also showing you is that you can find that core group of people that absolutely bring you joy. Um, you have great conversations. You're creative together. You inspire each other. And you're all like-minded in how you love yourself. You encourage each other to um, replenish your cup, take care of yourself. And you, you, this new core group of friends that I feel is very necessary for you reminds you that no one can love you better than you. And you all have that same foundational way of thinking, right? And then we have the Seven of Cups. It's spirit is saying you can't control other people. You just cannot control others, right? You can, you have to understand that you can't control how they're going to respond to you or if it's reciprocal in these relationships. And and I get it, we're human. We do want to feel love. We do want to feel uh supported. Absolutely. But we cannot control other people and how they respond to us. What we can do is control how we react to them. And we can also be mindful and discerning who is deserving, who is deserving of our support, love, and attention, right? Everybody is not deserving. Everyone should not have access to you, especially if it's depleting you and spirit is telling you to heal your heart. How you heal your heart is by loving yourself first. That is where you become powerful. That is where you become empowered, right? Let's get some more. The chariot. Quickly, quickly I say unto you, there's the power again. I just mentioned power. With the chariot, your self-love brings you more uh, willpower, more um, empowerment. It will bring you more joy and abundance with this chariot card, right? You will accomplish so much more and be so much more effective if you decide to love and support yourself first and foremost. Continue to rejuvenate, relax, and rest and replenish your cup first. You cannot pour from an empty cup, right? Five of Wands. This is telling me you have to change the way you're doing things. You also have to change the mindset you have in thinking anyone has to return the favor the same way you put it out there. Your karma will take care of itself. Continue to be loving, continue to be supportive, but also learn to be discerning on who is deserving of your love and support. Are they simply empire uh, energy vampires? Are they always taking and never giving? These are the kind of people you should be very mindful of and to make sure they do not have access to you. You can love people from afar, right? You can wish them well from afar. So what I'm getting here, what I'm feeling is you have to change how you believe someone is supposed to support you back because you cannot control anyone but yourself. You control 
your life and the good that you put into the world, that karma takes care of itself. So let's start to change the what you're creating, this scenario you're creating that's causing you to have an achy heart that you now have to heal and you absolutely can. It's over. The way you think someone is supposed to return in kind, that ends. There's a transformation in your thinking. Your, your heart is being renewed. Your spirit is being rejuvenated. The unbridled access people have to you, these energy vampires, that is over, right? That's done with. It's a new beginning. It's absolutely a new beginning for you, beloved human. I just feel like a few more cards are necessary. With the three of pentacles and the moon. Here I'm getting, I'm picking back up on the friendship. Trusted circle of friends. Like-minded, understanding that we do for self. We are interdependent not depending on anyone to give us what we can give ourselves, right? And then the moon shows up. What I'm feeling is it's time for you to drop the fear that no one will love and care for you. That's done. Drop that fear because you love and care for yourself. And the more you do that, you will actually attract a person or persons that definitely love and care for you. The so what you put out there will be attracted to you. So continue to put out love, but put out more love for self. Put out more support for self. Put out more care for self. Heal yourself from the inside out. I want to check the bottom of the deck. I'm really curious. Beloved, the Emperor. Wow. The Emperor. What else do we need to say, right? What else do we need to say? When you do the healing work that you need to do, and you heal your heart, and you gain more willpower and more strength and more control of self and you love yourself even more it just grows more and more it's not selfish you're not selfish by selfish by loving yourself more that enables you and it empowers you to love others well do the internal work do the internal healing rest rejuvenation replenishment, renewing of the heart and mind. Beloved human, this is what spirit is asking you to do, to take you to the next level living, right? And then the emperor shows up, seriously, you are, again, it's just more control, 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 right? More control. You are the authority over your life. You can create that stable foundation of love that no one can take from you. No one can shake it. You're secure in who you are, what you offer, what you bring to the table. You don't need to sit at anyone else's table. You've built your own table and you welcome others to join you because that's the kind of person you are. You are the emperor, male or female. It doesn't matter, right? That, that there's more structure. Structure is just you're being reminded to structure the way you live in a, in a manner that is beneficial to you. And that starts with healing your heart. That starts with understanding that you are the genesis of how well your life will go. Okay, beloved human, you've made it this far into the reading that means you were meant to be here. It's not happenstance. It's divine connection. I hope this resonates with you and helps you move forward in life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I will see you soon, but until then, bye-bye.